Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is Cal, this is Dr. M, and here to help you out to how to get into a dentist school and pursue your dreams to become a dentist in the United States of America and practice there. As you all know that that I already have a series of how you can become a dentist in the United States, and it is slowly becoming quite popular. Do guys do keep sharing and do. Uh, watch, watch those videos and share it with your friends so that they can also enlighten themselves. So in that series, I have discussed in detail about how you can practice in a particular state, and what school can you join, and what programs can you join. So today I'll be starting with another series in detail about the schools who accept the dental students or offer advanced standing programs so you can enter directly into their second year or the third year of the dental school. You can finish up your dental studies and become a dentist in the United States. And today I'm going to discuss about a very popular school that is Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. Again, the school is not only popular for all those dental graduates from the Middle East and from Southeast Asian countries who want to practice as a dentist in the United States. But also for all those who have sent their masters as well because this school actually is really open to people who already have a lot of experience in their field. Again, this is a very good option for them. Also, another perk, they actually accept 100 students, 100 exceptional students from all over the world and help them get their advanced degrees and become a dentist in the United States and practice in you. So, what are the requirements? So, before diving in into today's video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you get an update whenever I upload a video. Guys, do comment. I, I do feel guilty that I have not been consistent with the videos and haven't been replying to all of you guys i'll make sure i'll reply i reply to all of you and help you out as much as possible and you know give out all the information that i have for all you guys but guys please keep supporting and keep watching my videos and i'll be updating you and i'll be updating this new series with all the schools who accept the advanced students in advanced standing program so keep watching my videos so now we'll dive in directly onto the website of the Boston University and let's know how it works. So as we can see here, Boston University Henry M. Golden School of Dental Medicine. It is, as you all know, and we have discussed that it is one of the popular programs which do accept the advanced students or the admission in the third year of their DMT program. So let's know about certain details of the program. So the program is for two years and for this year of 2023 the application deadline is 15th November 2023. Uh, but with this deadline there's a small catch which I'll let you know in the video further. So coming on to what are the application requirements which are necessary let's find out so coming on to the requirements so each year the Boston University enrolls in its two years of DMT program so it includes 100 exceptionally international students so guys you stand a chance in this school and fulfill your dreams to become a dentist and practice in the United States so the four most important criteria is a CAFED application so the CAPED application is, you guys must be familiar with the ADEA CAPED application which has to be submitted if you want to get accepted into a DDS or TMD program in any of the dental schools in the United States or in Canada. So first is the CAPED application which has certain three requisites. Then there are three letters of evaluation. Again, if you are in good terms with your dental school, then you need to get it from the two of the dental faculties and one from the school team. Another one is TOEFL score. So the score of C test for English or foreign language that is TOEFL, the IBT format, the official score must be uploaded to the CAPIT directly from the educational testing service. The CAPIT institution code is B451. 
please note that and the special home edition is accepted so the ibs scores are not accepted and the admission does not accept the results from tofl essential so this is something which you need to know i'm going to make a detailed video of about tofl and how the scores are evaluated i've spoken briefly in some of my videos you can check those out next criteria is you have to submit your results from imbde or if you have given your mbde part 1 or part 2 then the ec evaluation again it is ultimate and necessary again you cannot write your exam for imbde if you don't have mbde right then a supplementary fee which is 75 dollars which you need to submit so coming on to the eligibility criteria so to be eligible for the dmg program you need only two requirements first one is again you need a dental program which you should have done in your home country which is an absolute necessity so then that you need a score of at least 19 ibt or 550 on tofl or a score of 100 or higher on tofl ibt 600 and it is actually considered quite competitive with the passing result of your IMPD. These two deadlines. Now the catch here which I was talking about is the deadline is 15th November but it is highly recommended that you submit the applications by August since you start conducting interviews and what if all the 100 students are selected before you submit your applications. So guys uh, do think about it and submit your profiles as soon as possible. Again if somebody has their exam in October it's fine it's okay you can still submit and you might stand a chance it's purely guys it's it's also your luck like how it's your program and your application is going to be accepted again the school is very friendly for all those who have done their masters in their home country if you are a dental specialist in your home country then your cv would stand out and you might stand a very good chance in the school so guys all those who have done their masters or their masters of dental surgery in their home countries to apply here. Then coming on to the interviews. So the interviews are mostly conducted starting in summers and they're conducted running through March. And for 2024 and 23 cycles, Zoom interviews would be conducted. Again, updates which are necessary for certain sections of CAPIT, that is uh, you need to again submit certain other details like if you have any clinical professional volunteer your research or teaching experiences right then you need to update with your results then your visa status again you at least need uh, a b1 b2 visa which is a visa for tourism if you're already a student in the united states you stand a great chance those who do not have an F1 visa, this school actually do provide that visa, that visa, and can convert your B1, B2 to your study F1. So you stand a great chance there. Then again, there are certain campus visits and there are certain events which you should attend before joining school. Again, very important prerequisite that you all need to know about the program is the fee structure. So let me know about the tuition fee. So here we'll be discussing about the DMGs in that one standing program. So a total of 91,500 is a total fee structure for fall as well as for spring, which would include your tuition, the pre drug doctoral general fee, health and wellness fee, and some graduate fee. Again, there are certain other fees which would be like the instruments cost and the textbooks cost, which would be added or subtracted. So do Keep in mind how you're going to finance your dental education. Again, guys, I don't think that the financial criteria should be your sole thing whenever you're deciding for a dental school. Because at the end, whenever you're going to finish your education, you're going to get all the good returns. And I don't think so that should hinder you, you should hinder yourself by just seeing the cost. Again, let's discuss further. Guys, again, never give up on your dreams. So, with this phrase, I would like to say that do keep studying, don't get motivated, even if you don't pass your IELTS, don't worry, give another attempt. If you don't get a perfect score in TOEFL, give it one more time. Study hard, keep preparing. If you don't get any 
invite from any of the different groups for the interview don't be disheartened there's always light at the end of the tunnel keep working hard be motivated and to keep watching my videos so until next time bye bye for today